All right, folks. Hey, we've got an incredible guest today. We are totally ecstatic. Wally Marshall from Mr. Crappie, the Mr. Crappie in the crappie industry. Um, a guy that I kind of uh, have always admired. And it's amazing that he is coming on board today and talking to us and sharing with us his uh, the Crappie Expo. So he had an incredible event, the premier event of last year. Tony Shepard, Mike Shepard won that event. We had that interview a couple of weeks ago. And uh, today he's going to give us some insight on the event that's happening in 2020 at Table Rock Lake. So that was announced a couple of weeks ago. And uh, so awesome. So we're back. We're fresh. We're back from Grenada. We had an awesome, we had the first three pound fish. We're excited about it. And uh, we are super excited about having Wally Marshall on board with three pound fishing coming and sharing his thoughts and what he's going to share with us today in terms of the, uh, the, uh, the, the big event of the year. I mean, that's, that's what it is. So the crappie expo table rock Lake in uh, very close to Branson, Missouri. I always say Branson, Missouri, but I know that it's split between two states there. Um, great uh, place. Let's see. I got some stats on this on this lake. The stats are roughly around, uh, if I can find them anywhere near my 67 square miles. This is a big lake. Depth of up to 220 feet. This is not a small lake. I also know that the water is extremely clear. So, and as you know, the Crappie Expo is a, is a, artificial bait only fishing tournament. So there are no minnows. So look forward to talking to Wally Marshall and uh, getting some insight. So we had a great time on Grenada Lake. As I said, oh, it's always backwards there. as I always say that it's, it's a, it's a great experience. The qualifier Grenada is some of the best anglers you're going to find without a doubt. And uh, they proved it again. So we we kind of defaulted back to spider rigging, which we will not do again. That stuff has been taken off our boat. We are going to be single pulling, just like I do on my home lake. We we got to Grenada because we do not know these lakes as well as some of these other guys. We kind of default back to the fact that we can have six or eight poles in the water. It makes us feel better. So uh, we're going to sit here and wait for Wally Marshall to join us. Thanks for you guys for joining us. We're going to have an incredible spring. I can't even say it enough. Um, in tournaments every single week. I know we got a lot of this stuff going on with the virus. Um, and it's starting to affect a little bit of the fishing, which is kind of awkward. You're like, you're like outside, whatever. But if the Illinois Department of Resources closes, they close their facilities, which close the lakes. Uh, they lock the fences and we can't get in. So... But there are plenty of private lakes that we're going to be able to enjoy during this whole period. It's kind of a uh, kind of a fiasco, but we got to take it serious. It's a big deal. And uh, just like I tell my wife, I say, you know, I'm washing my hands way more than I normally do. I'm washing anything that's around me, taking the uh, sanitary thing. So uh, we do take it serious. So we're going to sit here and wait for Wally. I did send him the link and we're going to see when he comes in. Hey folks, I am here with Wally Marshall, Mr. Crappie, and uh, thanks for taking the time out today and spending th this evening and taking the time and spending with three pound fishing. We really do appreciate Wally. Hey, I appreciate you calling me today. And hey, uh, you know, I've had done a lot of these in my lifetime, you know, but uh, I bet we can get through it. <laughs> it's always just been TV, man. This is like, this is like real TV right here. It's like right in the house, right? Yeah, it's amazing, right? So uh, it's become the, the the change in the industry, YouTube and, and being live streaming. We appreciate spending some time because we want to talk about the Crappie Expo, what you did last year and what we're going to do this year. We're, we are uh, ecstatic about what you have produced for crappie fishing. But before we get started, let's talk about this. You said you're from Texas. so. We, and because we've got this coronavirus issue going on, is it affecting fishing in Texas at this point? No. Everybody's still fishing. I mean, the tournaments they had, I think um, MLF was here on Lake Fork this week, and um, they cut out all the meet and greets and stuff like that, but they still had the tournament. 
you know, they didn't get around big crowds or anything like that. And so they still, they still had the tournament going, you know? So it's, it's interesting about fishing. There's a lot of things that have been canceling, but fishing continues to go on. And I, oh, yeah, I the, guys, the guides are busy. Everybody's fishing, having a good time. Um, and you're going to see more of that. If this goes on as far as, you know, when times are bad, people fish. When times are good, people fish. Yeah. But I think in the bad times, there's more fishermen. Yes. Great I mean, point. Instead of sitting around the house, let's go fishing, you know? Yeah, I agree. Uh, so, that, it's been over the years, yes. <laughs> yes, mm -hmm. that's awesome. So do me a favor. Let's look back at the Crappie Expo last year. Give us your insight, how it went, how, I mean, because this was the premier event of 2019 and it was it was incredible we loved seeing tony shepherd mike shepherd take home the victory um give us your insight there and what we're doing what you are doing differently this year what are we bringing it to the next level because i know wally marshall he always brings it to the next level <laughs> <laughs> you know i i i really you know it was my dream um three years ago four years ago. It's always been my dream to have an expo for our industry. You know, the tournament is an added bonus. It brings a lot to the expo. We've got the hundred best teams there, you know, and it's just competition. Everybody loves to watch some competition. And as of last year in 2019, I'll tell you what, that, that stage and all the folks that were watching that way in and man, it was just unbelievable of the amount of people that came to crappie expo, yes. you know, uh, for the first year to be successful, you know, a lot of my friends said, you know, Wally, it was a home run. It was, it was the best thing we've ever been to and crappie fishing and even the fishermen, you know, that didn't make it to the last day, they were there and they were like, man, this is something else, man. We got concerts, you give away boats, you get, you know. And so I just had a dream of doing this and, and hot springs give us the opportunity. And I took that opportunity and, uh, you know, the other day my CPA says, hey, man, you know, you lost uh, six grand on it. <laughs> you lost six grand on Crappie Expo. And I said, well, I'll tell you what. <laughs> that was the best party I ever threw for six grand, you know, so I'm going to do it again. So, but no, my plan is to, for the next 10 years um, or longer uh, is put on crappie expo. And just to let everybody know right now, I have crappie expo booked through 2024. Wow. After we launched the, Tony Shepard, Mike Shepard video, Monday week, there has been three cities call me wanting Crappie Expo, and I've already met with two of them, and the other one's a shoe in. And so it's just like they want it. They've seen the numbers. They've talked to Hot Springs. They've checked me out like, you know, like I'm a criminal. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, they check you out, dude. I mean, they – they do the hotels, they do the restaurants, they do all kinds of stuff on you and uh, just see what you can bring to the uh, economy in these towns. I mean, it's uh, very important that we do. And I think Crappie Expo is going to be like, man, this year, Branson, Missouri. I mean, I had to keep that really tight knit because I didn't want to spoil it or or let right. the word out because I didn't want to jinx it by telling anybody and, and going from year to year, that's tough to do. And most of these, you got to be two to three years out, you know, because you just can't go in a one year time and, and get the exact dates you want to get because everybody else has already got it booked, you know? So right. anyway, it worked out. Uh, Branson, Missouri, uh, October 30th, 31st and November 1st for the show. Uh, the, the tournament, the, uh, Mr. Crappie invitational will start on Thursday. 
Friday and Saturday because a lot of the guys I listen to the fishermen want to enjoy the expo too. A lot of them didn't get to see it or feel it or be around it because right. they were fishing. And uh, we want to see that they come back on Sunday and everybody gets to come and talk to the winners. Uh, if you're a crappie fanatic, uh, crappie expo is the place for you. Right. Uh, we uh, go nine to six every day. It's a selling show. So all of the vendors that are there uh, can bring their goods to the market. And that's what I designed this show for is for the crappie industry. So everybody that manufactures crappie fishing products or products that crappie fishermen use, I think, man, this is going to be the deal for our industry and our fishermen, you know, and it gives fishermen a chance to meet people from the manufacturing companies like a Berkeley, like a Lou's, uh, Bobby Garland, B and M, uh, all of the companies, you know, Strike King. We got there's on and on and on uh, major companies that was there. We had some billion dollar companies at the Crappie Expo this past year, and it's amazing of what they seen and what they felt. And so when I was at the Bassmasters Classic just the other day over in Birmingham. I was walking by them people and they go, we'll be there. We're coming. We'll be there. You know, it's just like, <laughs> wow. You know, it's like they, they were there. They felt it. They seen it. Uh, the excitement because everybody had a smile on their face. Of course, we had a concert every day at one o'clock right before the weigh in. Then after the weigh in each day, we gave away a boat. I mean, we gave wow. away a boat every day. Uh, at the event and on Sunday, we give away a fully loaded Ranger boat. So I thought hey, that was just outstanding. So Wally, if, since we're early in this, this interview, if you're a young company, if you're a company that wants to get involved with Crappie Expo, what phone number, what email, what email address can they, can they contact you to get involved with the Expo? Because I want people to know that right up front. Where can they, what can they do? to get involved well, right, with the now, right now this is still really fresh and i've just met with uh branson and getting all the paperwork but i can tell you go to crappieexpo.com or you can call my cell number at 214-683-4759 or you can uh email me at mr crappie one mr crappie one at aol and all of that information is on crappieexpo.com right now because we uh, we put out the press release uh, the morning after Tony and Mike introduced Branson being the right destination. And so you can go on Wired to Fish, The Fishing Wire, uh, Fish and Tackle Retailer. Uh, all of these locations can, um, they can read all about it. You know what I'm saying? And right. also we have it on uh, crappieexpo.com. So uh, companies that are, if you're out there, that's, you know, looking to come to a crappie market, just about everybody that went last year has said yes this year. So yeah. I predict that we'll have somewhere close to 140 manufacturers from the crappie world at this event. We don't have jewelry. We don't have popcorn. We don't have, you know, we're not doing windows and slides because I want people to come to us. I want the, the, even the buyers, even the buyers at Walmart or, or Academy or wherever to come and see the, what we have to offer and what the manufacturers have to offer and see all the new stuff and see ICAST is in July, which is our big show for the industry and the public can't go. And so right. in October, you'll get to see all the new stuff before it even hits the market. Because usually all the stuff doesn't hit the market till about January or February. Right. So new rods, new lures, new bobbers, everything in crappie fishing, you'll get to see it at the crappie expo. Excellent. Mm -hmm. So and let's let's talk about the lake. Table rock. That's exciting. This is a big lake. This is what, 67 square miles. I think it was 
formed in 1954, 1958. Uh, this is a deep lake, deepest point, but 220. It's clear water. Tell it, talk about the what we're looking at in terms of a fisherman angler's perspective. Clear water. I know we're looking at artificial baits. Yes, the tournament, the tournament itself. Let's start off with that. The tournament itself is artificial bait only. And um, uh, that last year proved that, hey, man, these people can catch some fish now. Uh, Tony and Mike put the hurt on them, 31 pounds. But, yeah, this lake is clear. It does have stained water in it uh, up in the tributaries. I can't tell you a lot because we have rules that uh, you can't take any information from anybody, and I really don't want to put a lot out there. But I know that they can go on the Internet and look at the uh, Corps of Engineers, uh, all the information on that lake, because they have um, they have um, all the brush piles marked <laughs> and, and, and tells the year or the date that they put the brush piles out. So it's not going to be hard to find a crappie on that lake, I can tell you that right now. So yes, there's a lot of information out there, and I've seen a lot of pictures on the Internet and I've had local guys from that lake call me going, hey, Wally, can, can, how do we enter that tournament? How can we get in that tournament? I said, you can't. Because what I'm doing is I'm protecting all of the fishermen that fish the tournament trails across the country, and they're going to get an opportunity to be in this tournament. And uh, I want to protect their money. I, want, I don't want somebody jackpotting this tournament. There won't be any locals in the tournament itself. And so I'm just saying that, hey, man, it's going to be great. Uh, there's big fish in that lake. I've seen some monsters on the Internet that people have caught. You just you can Google uh, Table Rock Lake Crappie, and you can see some good ones. So for the three-pound fishing crew, everybody that's out there watching this now, can you share with us how we can get into this tournament? How is it possible? Have you announced that anywhere else? What's, the, what's I have not. This will be the first. This will be the first release on what we're going to do this year. Wow. Uh, from 2019 uh, tournament, which was very successful. Uh, it was a thousand dollar entry fee. Uh, we paid out a hundred thousand dollars cash money, and we paid down the top twenty five. And wow. so uh, Mike and Tony took home a big chunk of it. And uh, I hope they've already spent it on their wives and family and <laughs> you know, right. vacations or whatever. But, <laughs> but uh, this year we're going to change it up because last year we invited all the anglers that had been fishing crappie fishing for 15 years or longer, uh, which they deserve to be there. Uh, this year, this is what we're going to do. For everybody's listening out there, uh, you can watch this over and over and over again. Listen Here we close. Go. Here we go. From last year in 2019, the top 25 from that tournament gets an automatic rebid to come back in 2020. And so we have 25 teams already. Okay. So this year, we're going to invite the top 15 teams from ACT, Crappie Masters, and Crappie USA. Wow. So that gives everybody a chance to fish in the big one. Wow. And I feel like that those guys out there have worked their butts off and worked hard, spent their hard-earned money to follow these trails. I want these trails to get bigger I want to see more people fishing tournaments uh, to enhance crappie fishing, you know, because the more they fish and they get in that top 15, they can come to the Mr. Crappie. You listening? That is incredible. Awesome. And thanks for sharing it here on three pound fishing, but they will get the opportunity to come to the Mr. Crappie $200,000 Invitational. Wow. Not 100,000, not 150,000. It's <laughs> gonna be a $200,000 tournament 
the largest ever on this earth in crappie fishing because everybody's always saying to me, Wally, do you think crappie fishing will ever be as big as bass? Well, I'll tell you what, guys, if you step up and you're going, well, man, I don't know if I can get $2,000, but you got to go after those sponsors, just like the bass fishermen do. They can't fish the tour unless they have the sponsors. Right. I don't care if you get Moe's Tire Shop or you get uh, Goodyear or, you know, get some great sponsors, make these contacts, tell them what you're doing, get those sponsors to come to Crappie Expo and be part of it. Get your sponsors to be involved with it because this is the biggest show on earth when it comes to crappie fishing. This year, I expect 60,000 people to come through at Branson. Branson uh, Convention Center, right there on Lake Tanny Como, right across from Bass Pro Shops. I'm gonna tell you, tons of people. It's a beautiful place. It's awesome. You're gonna really enjoy it. And also, I forgot to tell you about the world's largest crappie fry we're gonna have. <laughs> and uh, last year, we fed right at 7,000 people crappie. Wow. It was unbelievable. We had 16,500 fillets. We had 14,000 hush puppies and 800,000 potatoes. So are we planning on, on, on upping that this year or are we just, we're going to see where it ends up, I guess. Hey, we're just going to feed some folks. We're just going to feed a bunch of folks, man. And it's going to be really great. It's going to be right there at the convention center also. But I want to talk to the anglers out there. Everybody wants to see crappie fishing grow. We all got to work together. These tournament trails need to support crappie expo. The anglers need to support crappie expo. And the, the guys last year that made that top 25, just call them up, just talk to them. Ask them about their experience. Ask, ask the sponsors that came, what was it like? You know, if you, if you didn't get to go last year, and I'm sure you've seen a lot of it out there uh, that's available uh, on video or you go to Mr. Crappie uh, YouTube and you can watch it. And I apologize this year. We had the last day pulled down because I let them pick a song uh, to play for their favorite song when they come out on stage. They got to see it one time, but uh, they pulled it down because we kind of went against the grain on that and, so they pulled that last day down, but uh, there is a sizzle video. We have a sizzle reel that you'll be seeing from last year. That's really cool. And I think I've already put it up on uh, Mr. Crappie uh, Facebook. You can check that out and check out the sizzle reel that we did, which uh, kind of gives a recap of what we did last year. Uh, it was really exciting. And, and I'm really proud of Tony and Mike because they are ambassadors. They are our face of the Crappie Expo for 2020. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you've got, so this is a great uh, event. You've got a great city that people can come and enjoy on top of a great lake. That, that by itself, I mean, Branson, Missouri is, uh, it's the home of fun. I mean, I don't know what their slogan is, but it should. Hey. <laughs> I know this. I know this. I met with all the big players in Branson last week. Uh, there's so much entertainment there. You have all the night shows, the shows and everything. And I told them I wanted Elvis and the Beatles <laughs> or, or maybe the Eagles. You know what I'm saying? And so at Copy Expo, uh, there's enough entertainment in uh, Branson that we're going to have some awesome concerts at the crappie expo and also for the nightlife they got a lot of great restaurants um to let everybody know the uh host hotel is the hilton uh, right. the branson hilton convention center okay uh, hilton right there it, i think it's 200 east main street and so you can go ahead and start booking your rooms because you can just walk right out of your room right into the convention center you so don't even, might, can you just outline the dates again, when the tournament is, when the expo actually starts, 
because uh, we always know that it kind of starts a little earlier than 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 the, that's kind of announced. Can you just go through the dates again for us? Right, October the 29th at 7 a.m. A hundred teams will blast off from the State Park Marina, right there on Table Rock Lake. Okay. And so, the way in for the first day will be there at the State Park Marina at three o'clock that evening, and then the tournament will break down to 50 teams. And so um, going into Saturday, there'll be 50 teams fishing and then going, I mean, excuse me, going into Friday, there'll be 50 teams. Then going into Saturday, there'll be 25. Okay. And during this whole time, the expo is going on. What's that now? And then during this entire time, the expo is going on, correct? Oh, that's right. The, the expo is from nine to six daily. Okay. Uh, there it's right there at the the river walk uh when you're there at the hilton you're not far from a lot of shopping centers good eats uh they got everything from paula deans to um uh, joe's crab shack and all kinds of burger places and you know it's just a, it's just a great town i mean branson actually to tell you the truth uh the reason i like branson is because my career started in Branson, Missouri. My, really? first, my first sponsor was Blakemore Lure Company, uh, Joe Hall. I met Joe Hall at ICAST in 1987. I had about $400 to my name and went into his booth and talked to Joe. And he called me in October and told me that uh, I don't know what we can do, but uh, you just seem like a guy that uh, could help our company a little bit, and we're going to try it. And uh, you get to pick uh, twelve dozen road runners, and I think back then a dozen road runners was about six dollars and ninety five cents. And I remember sitting at the house, taking those road runners off that strip card and putting them in a plastic box, uh, a jig box. And matter of fact, I still have that box till today. And and six dozen road runners wasn't much but he gave me an opportunity to prove myself uh as a crappie fisherman um in 1987 uh my partner joel peacock and myself won the first crappie tournament ever in the state of texas which was held uh on cedar creek lake okay. and and i didn't even own a boat we had waders we was wade fishing so but I know people want to hear about Crappie Expo. Uh, man, we just got a lot of stuff going on. Uh, like I said, we're having a concert at one o'clock. The weigh-ins at three. We give away a boat at five. Uh, that's pretty much uh, self-explanatory right there. Uh, I don't know what boats we're going to give away yet, but I know that we are going to give a Ranger away, a fully loaded Ranger. And Ranger told me the other day that they was going to step up on the deal. So we may be giving away a bigger boat. So you never know. <laughs> but well, last year, what I liked about the event, there was a lot of kids. Uh, families brought the kids out and really had a good time with that. A um, lot to do. So uh, guys, if you have a company out there and you're watching, uh, actually last year, the, all of the lure companies donated lures and we had the state troopers. A lot of people might not know this, but the state troopers, in Arkansas, handed out lures every day, every hour. Wow. Ran out of lures. And I want to thank all of the sponsors and all of the national sponsors and all of the title sponsors from last year, Ford Motor Company, Riceland, Rice Brand Oil, and Oakland Racing was our titles. And, uh, <coughs> excuse me, I just want to let you know tonight that the first national sponsor, which happened today, is uh, the Bass Tank. Uh, wow. They were last year with a booth. Uh, they seen what was going on. And, uh, man, I'll tell you, he called me up tonight and he goes, hey, I heard about the national sponsors last year. Uh, uh, what does that curtail? And I told him and he said, man, we want to be a part of that. So I'm just saying that crappie fishermen, tournament anglers, uh, I'm going to protect your money. I'm going to protect your time. I'm going to make sure that everybody has a great time here at the uh, Crappie Expo. And uh, 
you're not going to be fishing against some local. Ain't nobody going to be jackpotting this tournament. Um, you know, I'm just going to, you have to fish tournaments. And also, it's just like last year, we have sponsor exemption teams because a national sponsor gets to pick two teams that fish crappie tournaments. So, guys, if you're listening out there and you have some sponsors, if you get them to sponsor up, man, you can get into the tournament with a national sponsor. Gotcha. And I will have all that information available uh, here in the next week, which will be on crappieexpo.com and also on Mr. Crappie Facebook that gives all the details about how to become a sponsor, uh, your deadlines and all of that. Uh, but yes, you heard me right a while ago. The Mr. Crappie Invitational is $200,000. So yeah. guys, it's $2,000 a team. And this is, this could be life changing Look at Tony and Mike from last year. Look at the sponsors that they picked up when they won that tournament. Just right. look around. Look look and see what they're doing today that they weren't doing two years ago. It opens doors. It opens doors for everybody. And if you want to be a pro crappie fisherman, now's the time for everybody to step up. And, I, hey, hey, them other trails out there, they do a great job. They've got a lot of fishermen that follow those trails, but just taking the top 15 from each trail gives everybody an opportunity and there's nobody out there left out. It's you get in on your performance. What I love about it is you're looking at the best of the best. So go over it again, 15 top teams of the three big trails. Just go over That's that one more time. Please. That's correct. We got we got the top 25 from 2019 gets an automatic bid for 2020. And they were told that when they before they went fishing on that last day and uh, of the tournament last year. And they was all cheering and jumping up and down in their boats and acting crazy. But <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, uh, the top 15 teams. From each trail, ACT, Crappie Masters, and Crappie USA this year. By May 15th, let's make this clear. May 15th of this year is the deadline. Not at the end of the year because it's so close. And I may look at it a little bit. You know, everybody says, well, that, that might not be true at the end of the year. Because Crappie Masters the end of their year is like in October. Right. It's kind of close. It's after the May 15th deadline. But if the top 15 changes before the tournament, I will let those teams in if they want to fix the tournament. You see what I'm saying? Yes. So it gives everybody a fair chance. Sure. Uh, from May 15th till they're cut off. And I'll be talking to those guys and seeing when their cutoff is, I don't know a whole lot about it right now, but I don't want to leave a stone unturned. I want to give every crappie angler in the United States a fair chance to fish for two hundred thousand dollars. That's exciting. Hey man, that's, I'll tell that's you, exciting. It, uh, it, 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 and these towns are just coming out of the woodwork, uh, wanting us to come bring crappie expo. Uh, to today's angler. I mean, I mean, it's amazing uh, with all the technology that's out there today and all these large weights and everything. But hey, it depends on the lake you're going to, you know. And I know everybody's just chomping at the bits to go to Table Rock. <laughs> <laughs> you're right. But, but again, you know, we have li no live bait. Uh, all of our sponsors love that, you know. Uh, because, uh, you know, Bobby Garland and Strike King and other lure companies out there, they don't sell minnows. And we can talk about that later on, you know. But I just want to thank you, uh, Matt, very much so uh, for uh, Three Pound Fishing to launch the uh, uh, second Crappie Expo uh, event in, uh, on your channel. Uh, if people want to talk to me more about this, again, my 
Cell number is 214-683-4759. I answer my phone uh, pretty much about 300 times a day now. And yeah. so uh, be glad to uh, talk to some more people. Uh, if they're looking for places to stay, uh, I know that uh, we'll have all that information up here pretty soon on crappieexpo.com. Hey, Wally, we appreciate your time tonight, and we appreciate you sharing some very valuable information to all the anglers out there. We appreciate everything you do for the sport. We just, we appreciate you. So, thank hey, you. Hey, man, I appreciate everybody out there. I, I mean, I've been getting some calls this year. You know, how's it going to be? How's it going to work? And I've been, I've been talking to anglers. I've been talking to anglers on the tour and saying, hey, I want to be fair. Is this fair? And they said that as fair as it can be. And if anybody out there has any questions about how you can get picked as a sponsor exemption team, which we had uh, 18 of them last year in the tournament, and it worked out really good because they had their jerseys from those manufacturers and they really looked sharp coming across the stage and having that stage presence, guys, if you're, if you're out there fishing tournaments, um, be sure to, uh, speak up when you get that opportunity, uh, when you come across that stage to speak up for your sponsors and tell people what you're using. I know you want to tell them that during the tournament, but when the tournament's over, uh, sharing information, uh, and especially letting them know about your sponsors. And that really worked good on the last day. We had a little schooling about it. <laughs> and, uh, I'll tell you what, that Zeke Anderson, man, he put on a show now on that last day. So. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, anyway, man, I, I, I'm just so thrilled that Branson, Missouri uh, picked us. And it's, it's, it's amazing uh, where crappie fishing is going. It's, it's going to the top. And, uh, like I said, the, the two hundred thousand dollar tournament, uh, it could be life changing for some of these teams. Yeah. It can be, uh, you know, you win eighty thousand dollars or ninety thousand dollars, whatever first place is going to be. Um, hey, that's a lot. You know, that's more than a lot of salaries out there. You know, and and I just, I, I just, um, I'm happy for Tony and Mike. Uh, they did a great job on the video announcing uh, where it was going to be uh, Monday week ago. And, hey, man, I'm just looking for a great event. And, man, I just say, guys, keep up the hard work. Try to get in the top 15. And also, just to, just to cut it short here, if somebody can't go, can't make it, we will bump down in that top 15. I'm I, I forgot to say that a while ago. We will bump down and make sure that everybody gets that opportunity. So 15 teams, American Crappie Trail, Crappie Masters, and Crappie USA. And uh, tell all your sponsors uh, to come and join us in Branson, Missouri. Uh, Branson has opened their arms to everybody, uh, especially all of the theaters. Uh, we're going to have some deals on that and also – hotels but the uh, uh host hotel is the hilton and they have two hiltons right there beside each other and it's right next to bass pro shops in branson missouri <laughs> hey wally thanks again for your time tonight we appreciate it big announcement we really do appreciate it hey i'm excited about it man <laughs> <laughs> thanks wally hey thank y'all man it's exciting now thank you